You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay, what do we got? The Urayuli? This level of brute strength needs no explanation. Ooh, but it requires four sacrifice. That's, that's a lot. A largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva. But it can turn into something. Pack rat. The prudent pack rat never doubts the utility of your well-stocked pack. What does the pack do? Trinket bearer. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. That's really good, actually, but it requires two sacrifice. I'm going to put my bet into the strange larva. I'm betting that's going to turn into something really good. Okay, now the map is open. Oh. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in the ears, you carry onwards. Cool. Mm. New part of the forest, it seems. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the human air. Every step forwards was unanswered, was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Alright, let's back up because I unlocked, yeah, I locked the wolf out of the cage. I knew it. Okay, so now I have that sigil. Oh, and I got some teeth. Cool. And then, can I get the squirrel in there? Oh, oh, I got the wolf in there. Awesome. So now I have a knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you had it. Can I take this back now? Why does the squirrel look like it's about to stab that guy? Hi. Okay, what do I do with the dagger, though? Oh, I've got the dagger on the table now. Okay, that's cool. What is this? Something new. You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Oh my gosh. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can shred you any of these. Take your time. The Rat King. Bullfrog, Wolf Cub, Beaver, Mole, Rattler, or Alpha. What's the Alpha? Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. That's actually really good. Oh, wait. Did I just take it on accident? I think so. <laughs> so that was one. Okay, that's fine. Because he sounded really good anyways. What's the Beaver? Damn. When a card bearing this sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power to health. I don't know if it's worth it. I'll just take the cup. That's fine, I'll take another cup. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. You're welcome. Alright, so the bag, but after that, it's a regular fight and then a mystery card. I'd rather take the bag. Let's get some items. Let's see what we got. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Oh, the black goat sacrifice? That's actually... That's scary. Okay, I don't know. That's bones. That's an extra point. That might be worth it. It gives you three. <clears throat> Man, for that. Extra squirrel. That'd be useful. Now I'm full up. I've got a dagger now that I can use. Okay, here's a fight. What does the dagger do, though? really curious to the user you will place a weight on the scales the pain is temporary i don't know if i want to do that i don't know if i want to do that <laughs> i don't know if i want to do that okay let's get a squirrel out here for free okay let's back up wolf cub another squirrel out here what do they have a bullfrog a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing 273 look at that Opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Well, I don't have that. I will take the wolf cub, right? Sacrifice this guy and put the wolf cub out there. And go! Next. So I do one damage to him, and the wolf cub will turn into an actual wolf. And then get the squirrel out onto that. The worker ant. 
that might actually be good. But what is that? The value represents with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. So it'll do one power, basically. Might just have to do that here. Get another bone. That's worth it, I think. Black goat. That's scary. Goat's freaking me out. Did I just win? Uh, just about. Oh! Okay, okay. Alpha, you need... How many... One, two, three, four, okay. Uh, so I could do this. I could put him there. What is that? Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, the creature perishes immediately. That's daunting. Okay, for four bones, put him there. And then we continue. Worker ant took him out. Oh, they all took him out. Awesome. He gets hit. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Um... Squirrel is gonna do damage though because he's next to the alpha. That's really good. I'll keep the squirrel there And then I'll place this squirrel here. That's okay. I'm willing to take that sacrifice He took it the alpha. Uh, that's not good. That's really bad. Okay. I need to get another squirrel out there Right here because the adder is gonna attack me. I'll take the black goat you're gonna sacrifice the squirrel and put the black goat there. He only has one health though. Oh shoot, this might screw me over. If he takes out that black goat, that black goat is super useful. I don't know, Ah, uh, this is a bad choice, this is bad. But it's too late, I already put it out there. He took my black goat, dang it. Okay. Another squirrel, but I don't wanna, I feel like that adder, if it hits me, I instantly die, so. Man, I just need one more, like, tooth to do this. Oh, this is messed. This is messed. The skink, but I can't. No, no, no. I just lost. I lost. Not yet, not yet. Put that there. Sacrifice that. Put the skink there to do one damage to him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I need it, don't I? I need it. Do it. Do it. Oh my gosh, I took my eye. I took my eye. Oh my gosh. And it didn't even matter. <laughs> Pigman, I need you. Pigman, please. Save me. Pigman. Please, big man. Ugh, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. Oh my gosh, and that's one candle out, and I lost an eye for nothing. How disappointing. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. You have a, a drawer of eyes? I guess I'll take this one. Thanks. I can see again. What the heck? Better. I should have used the knife earlier and gotten a, an immediate dub. Regardless, the choice is final. Alright, move on. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Alright, let's see what they got. Bat, the needle, some bat, a minor terror. Yeah, nothing crazy. Prior's four bones. I'll take this. Requires four bones and it can avoid the cards that they have. That's pretty useful. Alright, we gotta move on to the campfire. Oh no, not the campfire. Oh my gosh. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health, said one. Plus two health. Pick something else. Do what you must. The stink bug. The poor stink bug, dude. I feel like they're gonna eat the stink bug. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your stink bug. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Now a few of them are drooling. And then the next time, like, a few of them are gonna be licking their lips. And then 
A few of them are gonna be drawing their knives. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, a free squirrel out there. Grand fur? That's annoying. Okay. Um, so at least that blocks air attacks. That's good. What does that do again? When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Lewis Waterborne. This card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged when creature attack its owner directly. What? Why would I want that? Why would I want that, Lewis? I'm just gonna ring the bell. Okay, I got a tooth. Did I get- Oh, he got a tooth from hitting my squirrel. Oh no, from hitting me directly, because it's a bee. Oh my gosh, they got so many bees. Okay, I need another thing out here, because this sucks. A wolf? Oh my gosh. Not much I can do, huh? I guess I'll get this. Sacrifice one to at least get a tooth, right? Skink. Should I sacrifice him too? Let's see what Lewis does. Oh, okay. That's good. Lewis had some damage on him. This dang bee. Let's get a wolf out here. I mean a squirrel. Hit that. Um... Another sacrifice to hit that bee. A mantis comes in. Hit that. Whoa. Okay, I need another squirrel out here. That's not going to do anything. I have enough for here to get this. Oh, I should put that there. Let's sacrifice uh, the skink and the squirrel the wolf here and get the opossum over there okay let's do that there we go let's get a squirrel put it here keep going get the beehive nice 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 bees are coming in i got a bee okay that's cool the bee doesn't require a sacrifice that's awesome Okay, let's get this. That requires two sacrifices. Okay, sacrifice the squirrel and the opossum. Put the wolf there to take him out. And then put the bee there just because. <laughs> Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky. So the B went past it and that, I guess. Let's get another one of these out. The bullfrog. Sacrifice the B. Put the bullfrog out there. There we go. Keep hitting them. I win. Let's go. Look at all those teeth. Awesome. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. River snapper, a bee, the watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. That's cool. I like that. What? Oh, <laughs> why did a mushroom? Why is there a mushroom here now? Is that like a sign that I should take this? What is this? Once a card bearing the signal is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one. That's really good, actually. I'll take that. Okay, you could go for this, but then you'd be forced to go there and there. Or you could go to the fire again. Which will be a free upgrade, but then those guys are getting a little scary over there. Let's just do it, because I don't want to have to fight like the sigil thing again. Warm a creature by the fire enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. <laughs> Stop this. Um... Okay, what if I have them eat the beehive? Sacrifice, Lewis. <laughs> the fire warmed the weary Lewis and enhanced its power. You suspect that the intentions of the survival was less than pure. With your Lewis in tow, you retreat into the woods. Okay, we got away again. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we can do it next time. 